Hey everybody, it's Nathan from Savage Lines News. I'm back and Pedro's back because he was just on the channel not that long ago, to be honest, right? Uh, but you guys know that he is the world's top performing Reinar at Worlds, right? Uh, you were the highest placing Reinar in the entire event. You were all of our champions. We were rooting you on. Uh, you did amazing. Uh, but everybody give Pedro a round of applause. Uh, how you doing today, buddy? Yeah, um, great. Thanks for inviting me again. Like, yeah. Always a pleasure to talk about Flesh and Blood. Yeah. Talk about Reiner, Brute stuff. So, yeah, glad to be here again. Yeah, it's pretty pretty crazy how you back-to-back -back tournaments, right? Like, uh, <laughs> like you're just, you're really consistent right now, performing really well, um, you know, especially on a grand stage like that. Like, that's not like a... That's not a, a local level tournament. That is literally the biggest tournament in flesh and blood. And you were killing it, right? Like, incredible. How's, how does it feel to perform that well, like, to, uh, on, like, a national stage? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, uh, I went to Barcelona to have fun, enjoy the city. I took some vacation before and after the wards, to, since I would be traveling there, decided to uh enjoy the city yeah and i wasn't expecting any result there i was playing for, for poorly uh fun like yeah uh trying to of course doing some great results as reinhardt because no <laughs> one in, was expecting that no. yeah and yeah like I, I had no pressure under my plate to play like so yeah it was really fun like uh getting uh some of uh, some the, the surprise effect from some opponents like this that wasn't expecting <laughs> right now and yeah was it, it was, was there like a certain point through i don't know like the first day or something like that where you like you're starting to win and you're you're continuing to win you're like huh like maybe i could actually do this was there like a point <laughs> you know in, in the tournament where you're like oh my i might do this you know what i mean yeah, like, uh, I gained it, the CC 3-1, I only lost for a drum line. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, yeah, I drew really bad. Like, <laughs> turns yeah. that he had Chromai, I drew only one popper. Yeah. Blood yeah. Rush were pretty terrible with, like, just a claw and, and a six attack. So, yeah. But I, I was, like, my draft uh training was pretty bad i almost like my my decks was terrible i couldn't manage a three wall like when i was training and i wasn't expecting uh, any results at draft but yeah. two days before the, the, the words a friend of mine sent me a, a how to draft dash Huh. And like I, w my thought was to avoid uh, drafting Teclavosim because I thought that would be the the focused hero for yeah, everyone, like, like the, the most safe pick. Yeah. Uh, so I was trying to focus training Max and a little bit Dash, but Dash was I I wasn't sure how how to to build that that, that deck and. After my friend sent me this how to draft dash that he built, uh, it was so much uh, clearer for me. Like, decided to not run 40 cards, the amount of items I should run. Huh. And ended up that my first pod uh, had four Teclavosins and two dash to, to max, and my deck was ridiculous i had huh. three boom, boom grenades a few like two or three hydron colliders a lot of attacks with breakpoints so it was often that i was playing islands from top and yeah i could manage 3-0 wow and i went to the second day like okay i'm 5-1 let's try to make top 64 to get some money <laughs> like you can lose the you can lose the next draft like 0-3 and try to get some results on CC, 
Yeah. And I started the second draft with the same uh, thought, but not with the same. Uh, I wasn't sure about uh, skipping the Clovosa because I thought that probably the 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 first pod that people was playing they probably was skipping tech of us as well yeah. so the second one would be harder and uh, my second pick was a boom grenade and i started playing uh, trying to build a dash or max yeah. and i decided to pick dash again because i had some good items not as good as the first pod but I could manage a 2-1 okay. the second draft and I was thinking hmm, I'm 82 I guess yeah 82 um, yeah. that's that's impressive I wasn't yeah, yeah. expecting like yeah. how I how how I, I came that this that <laughs> with that record uh, 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 it was like unbelievable uh yeah it's crazy and, and uh, like, uh, since I wasn't expecting any any results, I just played fully relaxed and yeah, you're just like kind of in the zone, you know, like, like you're just you're, yeah. you're just having a good time, playing really well. That's cool. So what, yeah, and my like I have uh, well, yeah. oh, so what was your score? The second draft fob? Did you go two one? You did, right? Two one. Hell yeah! Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And that's with like the big players, you know. Those are like those are the the day two X one players in your draft pod. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I had Brody. Yeah. I had the Matthew that got the bait. Uh, the the uh, Australian national champs, I guess. I, I forgot his name. And yeah. My memory is just running out. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a that's that's quite a feat. So then, so you you did. X two or your two, you know, two one in your draft pod, and then it was like what four rounds of CC after that. Yeah, four rounds. Okay. Um, and so I at that point, you're X and yes. two with four rounds left. Yeah, crazy. Okay, wow. Do you remember, like, at the end, you're you know, you finish your draft pod, and were you just like, I'm gonna do this? You know, <laughs> I'm taking you know, because you're pretty much locked at that point for top sixty four. You're probably fighting. You're pretty much locked for top thirty two at that point. You know, so was there a moment where you yeah. were like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go win this event? You know, as uh, a winner of all people too. You know, like at this point, my focus was to get the page first. Like I, I like even top eight would be like a huge. Incredible uh, results. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't had any uh, perspective of being champion. Like I was uh, joking with my friends, like that plays here at my local game store. Uh, they was joking about me being world championship before I, I, I going to Barcelona, and I said to then like if i won uh, the, the world championship i will buy a car for everyone you can go to the to register that if you want because <laughs> i had no perspective like i needed in my best dreams to be a world championship yeah. of course I, I didn't like i was i mean you were right yeah, yeah you did not but you know you were close enough to make it a real threat at one point where you're like huh i wanted to buy all my friends cars soon <laughs> do you uh um, yeah. Do you, what was your what were your CC matches like? So uh, do you, you know you said you lost a drum line, but like, do you remember who you like? What heroes you played on your way up? Yeah, uh, let me open the the gen here again, so I don't forget anyone. The first yeah. one was a dash. Don't want. I don't know if you want to go deeper or like a brief. You can yeah, you can give uh, like a high level. Yeah, like uh, you know what hero they were and like how it went. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the first one was a dash. Like okay. um, he started with a chamber, and okay. I looks like he, he started like boosting. I, it was the same strategy that I, I always like trying to fatigue dash, but also with some mag smash in case he is on pistol. Yeah, uh, ended up that he was playing uh, boost dash. I was able to 
defend well. Uh, at some point, he saw that I was trying to fatigue him and try to slow down, set up uh, bigger turns. And those turns that he was trying to slow down, I had seen seen on hand. So always trying to um, force him to block or erase face. Yeah. So it was pretty lucky and comfortable to me to play that match. Yeah. Uh, the second one I faced a cannon that I could push some damage, like with Savage Fist and Beating Crackers uh, soon, then Blood Rush Bellow. And when he was low life, I, I drew another Blood Rush. He tried to combo and I just prevented three from, from the, yeah. the, I, I had a white fire. And it was enough to just finish him after preventing that damage. I hate running uh, into Kano's in tournaments. I hate playing Kano. In <laughs> it's so annoying. Like, I, you know, the hero's cool. I'm, you know, respect to the wizard players and all that kind of stuff. But like, honestly, that hero's bullshit sometimes. You know, like, like it can just it can just ruin your event because like it found the combo in turn two and you just take seventy five damage. You're like, this was terrible. So yeah, yeah c- congratulations on beating it because <laughs> I've lost to a wild Kano like at a calling before. It's just like. Oh, you found it. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Some, sometimes you don't have much to do, but yeah, you know, always can try to save some resource to to yeah. to prevent that damage or if you are uh, near to the the, the life uh, limits. Yeah. Yeah, but definitely it's, it's hard if you don't draw a good hands first. Yeah, you know. Sometimes it feels like you either two shot the Kano or the Kano two shots you most times, you know, like it doesn't, yeah. uh, I, I'm always so terrified to see a Kano in an event. I, I hate it, you know, cause it's just like, <laughs> a, it's like a round killer, you know, it's like our tournament killer. Yeah. You can just, you just get popped and you're like, Oh, well, I guess there goes my, there goes my placement. <laughs> but exactly. good, yeah. Good job. No Oasis in your list. I don't think either. So, you know, you no. have to kill him uh, fast. Yeah. You have to kill him fast. Exactly. Yeah. It doesn't have room, room to wear uh, Oasis. And I don't think Kano was a, a match that I would be that uh, concerned about. Like, yeah. I wasn't expecting too many Kanos. And, no. like, I, f- I think it had only two or three. So I don't yeah. recall. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, a dash into a Kano, terrifying start, to be honest. What else you got? <laughs> Uh, then I got the, the Dromai. Uh, okay. He had bad Tom turns, but I had terrible Blood Rush turns. <laughs> like, two heads. And when he had some board and, and Dromai, I had just one popper. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I, I, I bleed some damage in those turns. Uh, then I faced a Bravo that almost fatigued me. Ooh. Yeah, he started to trade damage, but I was able to block his crush with some defense reactions in the arsenal. And uh, when he saw that I was out of damage in him, he tried to fatigue me. And, but I had remembrance running against I, I run remem- remembrance against Bravo to avoid those type of situations. Yeah. I bring back two blood rush in a swing pick. And I was able to finish that game with two or three cards left in deck. Wow. Yeah. Did you kill him with a blood rush this or what guy, was it? I think it was a blood rush, then he blocked with the new boots. And oh, then I hit with yeah. Savage Fist. Oh, but, yeah. don't ever give us a quick and token like that. Gross. Yeah. Wow. Getting value. Oh, getting a Savage Feast with a quick and token for free. That's hot. That's, yeah. that's fun. It's lovely. It's lovely, yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, the Dromai got you day one, I guess, right? So the Dromai, and sometimes Dromai is just, you know, like uh, they draw well, you don't. They still exert a lot yeah. of pressure. You know, it's hard to deal with the board state sometimes. Exactly. Yeah, um, like I, my the, the the a week before the 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 words, I was already in Barcelona in the Brazilian national champ was already there too. Uh, I went to his Airbnb to 
to play some games. He plays in Dubai. Uh, and I lost, we played five games and then I, and I lost three for him. Wow. I got pretty scary about that. Yeah. And yeah, I was even deciding if I would run Skype skin or the uh, previous approach that I was about, uh, thinking about that beating crackers in home gloves. Yeah. And I faced Yuha and I think he played as big Dromai on Pro, Pro Tour, right? Yeah. Big Dragons. So I thought would I, running beating crackers would be good against him in case he was uh, he was uh, playing as big dragons. Yeah, Tom will tie him. But yeah, but, yeah it, he wasn't. He was on the red line with the crown thing. Then, yeah, probably it's better to run scabs and try to push some damage even uh, like you can rely on uh, hold the game because with all those four attacks, it's terrible for Reiner blocking. Yeah. Early or soon, soon <clears throat> or later, you will get hit by a Chromai, Mirror Guy, or yeah. that you will not be able to block and you pass some damage. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think the same thing. Most of the, the Tom's just too good. So I feel like a lot of drum eyes are on Tom now. So you want to stop those snatches and stuff like that, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. Okay. And what was your day two like? In day two, I faced the I, I faced a dash, and I think this was the craziest game I ever had. <laughs> uh, he started. He chose to start. He started with uh, the, with the dash. He chose the chamber to start. Okay. Looks on chamber, and turn zero he played uh, pounder. So I thought he would he would be playing as boost dash, and my initial hand was two blues, uh, arg smash, and uh, uh, blood rush battle. Ooh. So I just played the arg smash. I I rolled four or five. I, I was able to destroy both items. Brutal. I was pretty comfortable with that, and I, then I attacked with claw, and he blocked, and I didn't realize that he was blocking. So. To be afraid of being a, uh, a pistol dash, uh, so I, I passed to him and he attack. He boosted some attack that I blocked and played another pounder. Uh, so at that moment, I thought that would be a like my. I didn't even uh, thought that could be a pistol dash. So when I I. Like when I bought the, the second arc smash, I just played it to, to destroy the pounder. And then he started putting some pistol uh, items in the board. I was pretty, pretty um, terrified yeah. because I knew he could, uh, he could uh, fatigue me. And uh, when I drew my last blood rush, he was on 18. And I had five uh, five card hands, so I I, I played. Uh, he, he was not on eighteen. He was on eighteen after I, I hit him with two claws. Uh, so in my last blood blood rush hand, I had a blue, a swing big, and a CNC. So I decided to roll scabs because I could hit him, him with a swing big and then a CNC and strike his arsenal. But I rolled uh, double one, oh. and <laughs> I thought that <clears throat> that uh, that moment that I, I lose the game. Yeah. But I like he was with uh, one induction chamber and two plasma per fire okay, on board. So I guess it's not it's, terrible, yeah, but not great, but not terrible. Yeah. Really terrible because <laughs> I had no blood rush anymore and no gloves to to run scabs. But in, like if I ended up like blocking in hit six, he could easily block and fatigue me and yeah. trying to like pistol me. So I decided to run scabs every turn. 
to try to push some damage with intimidates and that's why was my my thought like every turn i was saving some cards on hand and try to i saved the savage fist on arsenal to Just try to as draw much cards as you can yeah i rolled a few ones <laughs> Like a few rounds, once one with five card hand Ugh. was pretty terrified, but yes. I knew that if I didn't have any way to push damage, like with intimidates, he would simply block me. Like mm -hmm. hitting six, block six is not enough for Reiner to win a game. And the last turn, uh, he presented me Leto. He okay. was on one life. Yeah. And I had a, a four card hand that was uh, Alpha, Rampage, uh, Bahajin Beatdown, a uh, Blue, and a Sink Below. So oh. to, I needed him to, to, I needed to intimidate two cards to pass damage to him, but I didn't have that six to to uh double intimidate with alpha and beige yeah and he break he broke the the the, the boots to get an extraction point and hit with the pistol for five again Oof. i was uh, on two life i was able to block with the sink down to one and i sink at the blue to get uh, a six attack and was able to finish the game. oh yeah okay <laughs> sink below has bailed me out of so many games like that it's just like yeah. please find the blue please find the six you know <laughs> that's that's crazy wow like down yeah. on the wire one health left nice nice then i faced daniel fratale fratale fratarelli on stream I yeah. played against Fi. Uh, I'm pretty comfortable to play against Fi. It's not an easy match, but oh. is <clears throat> better than Katz, I guess. Like uh, you can play around the mask draw. Yeah. Um, you can play just some uh, defense reactions to stop the break points. And yeah, I was able to win with the reckless swing. Hot. <laughs> yeah, and at the at this moment I was ten two. I had two games left to crazy to to get the top eight. And then I I got paired with Yuki Defender that was on the first place. Yeah, just lost one match, and that game I had no chance against her. Uh, she played pretty well. It, she saved the sinks for for the Pope in the arsenal he, she had the channel legs when i had the blood rush or double barraging uh bit down so yeah i uh, had no chance I but yeah i was ready for the last round and yeah. when all got then <laughs> yeah yeah okay. uh i I sat down to, to wait my opponent and he asked me to wait. He wouldn't talk with the judge. Yeah. He came back after talking with the judge. He said the judge said uh the splitting was legal okay. and we could do that. So I would get the top eight and he would get the money. Okay. Uh I didn't fought twice, like if the judge said that was legal, like, let's do that. Why not? Like, yeah. getting top eight at words. Yeah, you, yeah unbelievable. Uh, and then the the stream judge came to call us for to play at the stream, and I said to him that we are discussing about splitting, and maybe we will not be playing. Uh, yeah. And then he just called us the, the the guys next to me to play on stream and said anything. So we just continued to discuss about the splitting if we would do or not do it or not. And a few moments later, the head judge came asking me if we would play 
the game. At this at this moment, I already accepted the split. Yeah, was pretty comfortable with that, and then I sat the head judge that we agreed in splitting, and the opponent would would concede to me. And when all things got wrong, <laughs> and his the judge started the investigation, like it wasn't. Yeah not much investigation because i wasn't trying to hide anything because i yeah, thought yeah. that was legal yeah and i got a match loss and i think my opponent got the disqualification it's brutal yeah uh i mean i, just, I checked in with judges because like uh you know i was curious this is a something <clears throat> it's something in the community that like a lot of people don't actually know because like it's pretty common i'm gonna be honest like at a lot of tournaments people are pretty quick to just prize split you know and i think it's yeah. it's it's crazy how it seems so transparent but it's not you know so you know i've been at i've been at events and it's like hey you know uh, we'll split the money split the gold foil i concede you know and yeah. a lot of the time it's not a problem because nobody's there to make it a problem right but a lot of people don't know that like you have to like really be super careful about it and it's it's got some like intricacies that I don't think a lot of people know. So like just for everybody at home, you your ju the judge has to be aware of it before you ask. Like if you want to do it the correct way. You can't you can't just ask your opponent to concede. You can't. Like you can never say those words ever, right? So the only appropriate way to do it at a tournament is to like get a judge involved before you even say a word, right? And then the other crazy thing is like just because the judge you're talking to says it's cool, if it gets escalated, the other judge might not. Because there's not really like super clear lines with this. And some judges are much more aggressive with prize splitting and, con and concession than others. So like the order in which you say it is also kind of important. Like if you you if you say like uh let me let me pull up my notes, hold on. I have some notes. Because I talked to a bunch of judges about this, because it's really, you know, it's really an interesting thing. Um, but yeah, like, yeah, like it's good to clarify to everyone. Like, yeah, it's. it's I, I really it's hope no like, one gets in the same position that I, yeah. I was like. So, like anything you say in front of your opponent, these are the notes I have, is said to your opponent, whether a judge is present or not. So, like, that means that if you talk about prize splitting in front of your opponent, your they can use it against you, basically. And then, yeah. you know, obviously, if your opponent says a judge checked it off, it doesn't actually matter because you need to get it checked off. If you're uh, unsure of what you should say, go ask a judge away from the table. Um, and then whether, like, one judge says something, like I said, like, sometimes the head judge will have a different opinion, which is kind of crazy. And then the order in which you say stuff is really, really important, right? Because... If you say like, okay, you get the invite, I get the gold foil, that's bribery. You just yeah. you just change you just went past the concession law, the rule, and now you're going into bribery. You need to say like you need to like act ask in a different order and you can never mention like money or rewards. So you have to say like, are you willing to concede? Yes? Okay. Right? Once you get the yes, then you can be like, okay, I'll give you some of the money. But if you say, hey, I'll, will you concede if we split the, the prize? Now you're bribing your opponent, which is so weird. I don't know. I feel like they really should have... <clears throat> they really should do something about it from a clarity perspective, you know? Because some judges are way more lenient than others, and then other judges will, like, DQ you on the spot. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think there is room to improve that rule. Like, I think so too. Because it doesn't uh, like mm -hmm. doesn't block anyone from doing that. It's just the way you do that. So just get some some just the people that doesn't don't know how to do that will get get punished. Yeah. So there's a lot of there's a couple rules that I think like aren't super clear to regular players and then they're like super abused by people who've been around for a long time you know um and i i think like prize splitting is one of them you know like 
it's just unfortunate, I think, that you got asked to go on stream. Because if, if that hadn't have happened, you would have been... Nobody would have known, you know? Um, but basically, long story short, ask a judge every single time. Away from your opponent. Away from the table. Ask a judge. Figure out what the judge says. Do what the judge does. Uh, if you're going to say anything to your opponent, you can't say you're going to split something because it, it starts counting as bribery. Like, oh, I'll give you the gold foil. According to the rules, you're basically telling your opponent, I'll give you $1,000 if you concede to me, which is bribery, right? And bribery is what will get you kicked out of a tournament. So you kind of just have to, like, walk on eggshells, I guess. Yeah, and I think what happened was that my opponent did ask the judge about splitting, but... I, I think he didn't ask about splitting and conceding the game, just about splitting the money. Yep. And he understood that was legal. And this he said it was legal for me because he believed that was legal what we were doing. So we both were uh, thinking that was legal. So we were doing that openly for everyone, talking to the judge that came to us. So, yeah, I think it was a misunderstanding. Uh, I'm pretty sure my opponent was, wasn't was yeah. uh, wanting to break any rules. So, yeah. yeah, I feel sorry for him that got disqualified. Yeah, it's rough. Yeah, honestly, it's a weird, it's a weird gray kind of rule, like, and it's dangerous to listen to anybody who ever gives you advice on this rule because each judge will actually look at it differently. And, like, straight up, it's more often better never to do it, you know, to be honest. Like, you can say, well, prize split, that is fine. Like, the concession part is the part that's really, really going to get you in trouble at some point, right? But if you, like, look at your opponent, okay, well, prize split, let's play the game. That's pretty much okay. You know, I mean, you still ask a judge, make sure, blah, blah, blah. But, like, the concession piece, one judge gonna, is going to look at it totally different from another judge. And then if that judge who gives you permission and it ends up getting escalated to the head judge, the head judge might even have a different opinion. So it's a hard lesson to be learned. At such a big event, to learn that lesson kind of sucks. So sorry, homie. Yeah. We were all rooting you on, you know. Like, it, as soon as we found out, I was like, oh, man, that is trash. Like... But, you know, you're good enough yeah. to do it once. You're going to do it again, you know? Uh, I'll see you again. I don't think so. I think so. You went from winning, uh, you know, get, like placing in nationals to placing in worlds in like one month or two months, three months, whatever many months that was. You're going to do it again. Yeah, like the fun fact was that I joked on your last video uh that i didn't want a gold foil and i said why not at words and i oh, almost yeah. got you, were so you would have gotten your scam skins Fuck. That's so yeah. terrible <laughs> that's terrible oh i mean i'm sorry man you know lessons learned uh for both you and the guy the, your opponent right but uh, it's just yeah. yeah it's kind of a it's kind of a brutal it's a brutal end to your story you know but Sometimes it is what it is. Yeah. You're going to do it again. I like, believe in you. I believe in you. Not the pain. It's yeah. a little bit. Like, sometimes I, 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 I think about that and get sad again, but I think yeah. the time I will. You'll be okay. You'll pass. You're going to win nationals in Brazil. <laughs> you're going to go, you're going to go win pro tour. Like, you're fine. You're going to do it again. I believe in you. <laughs> All right. So I asked. I asked my community uh, some questions, you know, if they had any questions for you, and they got quite a few. Are you ready for, like, a rapid-fire round of questions? Sorry? I, <laughs> I'll just say yes. <laughs> <laughs> I said uh, I asked the community, and they gave me a bunch of questions. You ready for, like, a bunch of rapid-fire questions? Yeah. No. All right. Uh, sure. So... What's your advice for somebody who's never played in a large tournament before, but is trying to do that in 2024? Don't do bribery. <laughs> first. <laughs> don't, don't do bribery. You heard it here first. Don't do bribery. <laughs> okay. The second advice. 
always call a judge if you have some doubt yes about anything absolutely um, the third one play uh, play for fun yeah. don't expect any results um don't expect any any, any money because it's really difficult uh like don't treat this as uh even if we're super confident don't treat this as guaranteed money like th that you depends that win to pay the, the bills or something else yeah okay Free, uh, play for fun and try to uh enjoy the tournament play with some hero that you enjoy not because it's the meta hero yeah brew your own list like no you need to know why you are running those cards i think yeah. this is one of the most important things on uh strike the best of possible for some deck because if you just copy like the the michael hamilton Icelander from the the last world championship you you not know when you need to play the city steel or the the frost yeah, hex yeah. for example uh you need to really know why those cards are in the list and why you should put on some uh it would be really uh, more easy when you need to to decide your side guide yeah. Uh, and yeah like but the main thing is to play for fun enjoy um, if you're planning to travel to play in a big event try to uh maybe enjoy the city like enjoy the trip not yeah. only the event yeah okay. that's good there's a lot of good advice in there there's a lot <laughs> i liked it uh next person asks how do you kill ninjas uh you did lucky at first <laughs> draw your blood, blood race battle soon uh need to use this calling flashback wisely yeah. the right moment to take most of the advantage of it so to do that you must know their deck where yeah. is the best moment to play uh need to run some cards they must defend like cnc it is face maybe against fi uh amnesia so yeah like reiner it's easy for ninjas to just take damage and return with five card hands so yeah you need to slow them slow down them until you draw your blood rush and yeah maybe that's that advice against ninjas okay. but i didn't face any ninja other than the the fight on stream <laughs> yeah, I, I was super lucky yeah that's pretty good that's yeah da I, yeah i guess that's true dash is still hard you know some of those heroes you played are hard but like katsu's a little worse i would say uh yeah. do you have any secret tech for the meta game right now that you're working on i have no idea uh the words <laughs> that i took uh, a week on vacation from yeah. Rome was not thinking about flesh and blood. Like I, I was thinking about what I happened with the match loss, but <laughs> on every corner, like I was walking on Rome, I was thinking about that. But uh, now I'm afraid of the meta. What is transforming like a lot of ninjas, both in Azalea pretty difficult for Reiner all those matchups and I hope heavy hitters give us some cards that they need to block maybe yeah. force them to block some brute cards I really hope if not uh, Reiner will see a hard spot in the meta. yeah yeah do you have a, a wish list for heavy hitters like it what any any cards you really really want to see from for brute I would accept um, brute CNC. I would accept a brute CNC. <laughs> I would accept a brute CNC. <laughs> a, a, a blue CNC that has six attack. <laughs> that would be so good, but <laughs> um, kind of in the same uh, world. Is there a new brute mechanic you want to see? Like I'm, 
I don't like. I'm bad at at game design. I okay. have no good ideas. <laughs> I just want but, good Reinar cards, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all I care. Good on hits, uh, but I think the Wager mechanic, Wager right? That Vigor, was yeah, spoiled. the Wager mechanic is. I good. think yeah. Wager, yeah, it's but, but really interesting. Cool. Like, yeah, it's like uh, swing big, like you. You get some benefits if it hits, but yeah. if it doesn't, your opponent gets. Yeah. So yeah, I want to see what can well, like this that mechanic uh, be inserted to Reiner. Yeah, that that with that that block card, that four block that gives you a agility token is cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's really dangerous, but it's cool. I like it. Uh, what are your thoughts on club for the upcoming format? Like going back to club, you know. I think it's trash. But. Yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I was. I was thinking about to play with Berserk, try okay. some list against, like, it. try to run against those ninjas in those fast decks. Uh, but I didn't have time to take a look on it. Like, just arrived in Brazil on Tuesday, can yeah. have to work a lot. So yeah. Uh, I will try to spend some time playing with that list. I played with Berserk for a while. I mean, like, when it works, it's cool. And then, like, the other times it just doesn't work, and you're like, okay, what a waste of my time. You know, like, it's really hard. <laughs> it's a hard co card to, like, I don't know. Like, even when your list is so heavily weighted on sixes, it still fails, you know? And, and it's, like, hard to dictate your entire yeah. game plan around a card that, like, just randomly doesn't work. Maybe if we have hitters, probably we won't get a six attack, a blue six attack. Probably but not, but maybe with cool. more six yellows, maybe we can try to run a, like a full six deck. Yeah. And try to, to make it work. That'd be cool. Enough, or like even some two cost six yellows, I'll take those. Like if we yeah. can get rid of all of our three cost yellows, that would be the best. Yeah. It'd make Reinar way Sometimes more consistent. They're... Like it wouldn't make him more yeah. powerful, it'd just make him way more consistent. Uh yeah, but I think it's pretty dangerous to make a deck with Berserk uh consistent. That's true. Yeah, we'll yeah, be Berserk's a wild pretty... card if it works too Sorry. well. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then two final questions are kind of funny. What's your go to snack to munch on between rounds? <laughs> Sorry? What's your favorite <laughs> snack? To munch on between rounds in a tournament. Uh, I think I didn't eat anything between <laughs> rounds. I just had a sandwich like at at uh, uh, twelve a.m. Uh, okay. like the lunch. Uh, I was I, I had a fever at thirty seven point eight, no thirty eight point seven fever Celsius degree fever. Oof on tuesday before the words and i was feeling pretty bad during the words i was just after finishing my games i was just sitting in the same chair waiting for the next round just to <laughs> take some rest so yeah i didn't was able to enjoy as much as i wanted for okay. the event like and didn't eat much snacks during the the rounds <laughs> just water Okay, <laughs> just just what I actually don't eat at tournaments either for some reason. I like I'll go like twelve hours and not eat, and then I get and then we're yeah. done and it, it all kind of ends and I'm like dying because I'm so hungry at the end, you know? Like, but I'm it, it, I don't know it's so <laughs> mentally exhausting. Like, you should probably eat. I'd recommend you guys at home eat, bring some food. Don't follow this advice, but like you know. <laughs> and then um, how do you <laughs> final question? So funny. How do you keep TSA from taking your cards? <laughs> Apparently, this this person every time he brings his cards through the airport, he gets pat down, investigated. His cards get combed through. So how do you? Oh, really? I, I don't know why, because <laughs> <laughs> I also don't get my cards looked at at all. Yeah, um, like it, it passed in my mind. Like if I had to declare that I was getting cards, or maybe the kids like. Some I got some shields and yeah. some cards, 
I was afraid of the, the needing to declare that, but <laughs> yeah, I was so I am so noob at this that I just let if if he get this, I, I will see what happens. <clears throat> Yeah, the real secret is don't take it in a carry on if you really don't want it to get searched. Put it in your bag, yeah. and then your bag will get checked in underneath the airplane. Nobody cares about your cards there. Um, and if you carry them through, like I've had one person look at my cards before, but I think it was mostly because I triggered the the scanner thing because I had so many oh. play mats that I had wrapped up, so it looked <laughs> like my like when they scanned my bag, it was just like black. You know, because like it was wrapped all in play mats, so they just were like, "This guy's hiding something in there," you know. Um, and somebody would like they pulled the cards out. And I was like, "Hey, hey, hey, that's worth like too much money. Don't, don't, like you know, don't do anything to those cards. Like, be very careful." Uh, and they just let me go. I don't know. It's a funny question. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's. You want to take a look at your list real quick, and then we'll. I mean, it's you know we we've seen the list before, but. You can just point out a couple of like uh, your most yeah. important changes, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so we got his list in front of us. <laughs> you wanna? I like the T Rex in the title. Uh, what's 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 up with the list? What's the, what's up with the name? Yeah, like Ramon Dino is a bodybuilder, Brazilian bodybuilder. Like <laughs> he's from Acre. Dino is because it he lives in. He was born in. A, near to the amazon that we joke about this state that is only like it's from prehistorical he's like, <laughs> he's like it has dino yeah okay <laughs> and okay. i decided to make this uh like since reiner is a big guy yeah i wanted to like the first list that i was bringing uh, i i put world championship first place yeah just for for joking i said to yeah. some guys that on the brute community but just for joking that's hilarious and you're pretty close so. yeah <laughs> pretty close yeah that's was most fun i was pretty more close to that than i expected way close like seriously close yeah, yeah. crazy especially love it. i like yeah i love it i didn't even know you could do emojis in February, so now I'm gonna start emojifying yeah. my stuff. I didn't even know this little. I didn't even know there was like a T Rex emoji. I love it. Um, but we've seen your list before. You know, we we just talked about it kind of recently. So you know, we, we've talked about your equipment choices. This is the best equipment, right? Um, but I guess at the end yeah. of the day, was there any like major changes or major things that you did to your core list before Worlds? And were there any cards that you added that you wish you didn't? You know, is there anything different about it? Uh, yeah, uh, since Lex was gone, mm -hmm. I was able to remove the Infectious Hosts. Yeah. So it gave me two extra slots that I put the Amnesia. Yeah, makes uh, sense. Okay. To face cats. Yeah. And then I thought having three sensors was too much. I removed one okay. to open a slot to erase face. And also, I removed what else? I think it was a barraging bit down to add the second erase face. Okay. You have two. Yeah. Two. Because, yeah, the main thing about the erase face, because I was too afraid of Dash IO. Yeah. Uh, Dash IO is scary. I don't like it's hard fatigue them. Yeah. So you need to feel the game if you were going to fatigue or work pushing damage. So there is face at least turns off one turn of her. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. It also helps with dash OG. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, it's the race face is just good because it like it's really powerful in just a lot of Reinar's worst matchups. You know, like it, yeah. I know Viscerite doesn't really exist right now, but it's good in the Viscerite, it's good in the dash, it's good in the dash IO, it's okay in the Fi against like, Fi. Yeah, yeah, it's decent in the Icelander, although she's gone now. You know, like it has some, it just has it's more flexible than it seems, you know. Um, yeah, how was how is Hold the Line in your head? Is this card, yeah, Hold the Line? I love, love this card, okay, love performs, love. it's gonna be in the list forever. Um, you like it. 
Yeah, probably. Okay. I will try to always defend this card because against the worst match, like against uh, Fai Katsu yeah. runs Art of War, it's really good. Uh, Dash IO that runs the Tom. Yep. Dramai run, running Tom in attacking, yep. like with four uh, power attacks. Hmm, okay. So it has a lot of rooms. Like if we're playing against uh, Torinthia, it's also pretty good. Like yeah. this list has uh, a nine, 11 defense reaction. So I'm pretty comfortable to play against Torinthia. Okay. Um, yeah. So like the, it blocks for two, but since the entire list blocks for three, it's not a big deal. Yeah. Like. And it's sometimes card, so. it will block like the most times it will block for two but you will save a, a, at least a blow to beat so yeah it's, it's fine to have it okay what do you think of dig of dinner too because this card's interesting to me i kind of like it yeah like it's okay it's really good against some like some match that left you with some cards on hand like draw my sometimes bravo yeah or Mats that are trying to fatigue you, uh, so you don't need to rely on scab skin. Or if you have three card hands, you can just play dig up dinner, uh, six attack with just a single blow. Yep, uh, helps a lot against my mats that goes to, to fatigue. Like, yeah. it's unlikely to go to fatigue against this headline, but uh, it gives you some life when you need. Yeah, like I guess burden all some kind of stuff. Yeah, it's just flexible. It's like a blue that can bail you out if things go wrong. Um, I don't know. Yeah, shuffle your deck because sometimes you have to pitch a blood rush battle. Yep. So shuffling it's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it's flexible. I like it. And then pulping, you're still on pulping. How did this card perform for you? Ah, uh, yeah, I have mixed feelings about it, okay. but I've. Sometimes you discard a Blood Rush Bellow, you see our wind cone yeah. going to the grave. Yep. Uh, but against Miragai, it's beautiful. <laughs> Just hit with Miragai and you have go again. If your opponent doesn't have a card in Arsenal, it also has almost guaranteed go again. Yeah. Uh, and against those uh, matchups that doesn't like to block, like ninjas or okay. Azalea. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of like Beast Within. Sometimes this card rips your Blood Rush Bellows away from you and then you cry, and then other times it makes your turn yeah. beautiful, you know? Like, okay. And then uh, you're still, like, you're on Pulping. How, I mean, sorry, Pummel. How, when, what, when do you really choose to run Pummel or not? Yeah, like against those uh, decks that really want to block. Okay. So, Bravo, uh, Dromai, uh, what else? Zuri. Yeah. Uh, so, we will have like three card hands. So, with Tonic, you can just hit with a Pummel okay. or can save it on Arsenal, but I like having just two uh, because you don't really want to see that often and yeah. you really want to use your tonic resource to blood rush. So, yeah, yeah. but when it hits with a CNC promo, it's Oof. amazing. So, yeah. so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, pretty much pretty much the same list you guys at home like it's pretty much the same list as last time but he's just a really good player <laughs> so that's why he's performing really well uh playing a, a pretty typical reinar list i do like a lot of your choices though you know you have some you, sensor is really cool like you're kind of i think you're one of the first ones to really bring that into the community um but you know he just he's playing a pretty normal reinar list but he's just good he's just a good player and that's why he's yeah, doing really well i saw the the Community results on my list yeah. that you shared, yeah. and my, the Battle Hearted yeah. list that was on February. Uh -huh. And I got impressed how how low was the win rate. Every time, <laughs> for me, it's 
like it's so obvious to block six and <laughs> wait until the to get the, the blood rush and it's crazy uh, like i won yeah. i don't know like yeah one of those lists it's like i won every single pro quest in my area and i got top eight in a calling with it and then like i put the list on the internet it's like a 30 percent win rate and it's like you guys just <laughs> exactly. block the, block two cards swing two cards you know like don't you don't take full damage every turn just block you know i don't know it's crazy yeah uh, you, you can rely on scabby rolls to, to attack yeah, twice yeah, so right yeah, yeah it's just a good list i mean you're a good player good list you're performing really well so, you know i mean don't don't i had don't break what works i, I had some open questions towards I, I think it's on the maybe list at the bottom oh yeah yeah yeah, uh, yeah i i added those questions to the the Reiner channel that we had uh i think dex dex uh answered that and was pretty helpful because i was unsure about adding a third copy of her is face to face dash i use because i i didn't have time to test it yeah um, that much like the third amnesia or even the pursuit of knowledge uh ended up that i i, I realized that pursuit of knowledge would be good against Romai. that was a good matchup for me so I decided to keep it away from the list. Yeah. And also school crush, like I was thinking about running to prevent some uh uh breakpoints from the ninjas, but uh I don't think like uh yeah. giving away the, the gambler's glove would be a, a good option. Yeah. I mean I, I toy with skull crushers pretty often. It's kinda weird. Like they're so good and they're so bad. And it's just it's really hard to like put my faith in this card you know um because like sometimes you want to roll on turn zero and then you roll and you blow up your your gloves on turn zero you're like okay cool i wish i would have done anything else <laughs> you know i don't know exactly um but then the coolest and, thing yeah is, like, in front of me, oh, go ahead. not having the gambler's loaves is the flag to not rose caps yeah it's the same i feel the same like unless i'm gonna lose you know like I don't. Yeah, I just don't yeah. feel comfortable risking my tournament. And probably a dice. Yeah, you probably will have a turn that you are playing against ninjas, and you can roll scabs, or you have a savage fist, yeah. you know, to attack. If you run just one action point, you attack with the two cost attack. If yeah. not, you play savage fist and and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, like the ceiling is nuts on these, right? Like. You can do a one card eight, which is crazy. If you roll with like tunic and a blue, um, you know, you can do like crazy blood rush turns with these, but like you're just risking so much. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to accept yeah. the risk. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, the list is really good. Do you have any advice for players at home? Like, uh, you know, who are looking, looking to try and become a better Reinar player? Like, what's your number one piece of advice for them? Don Rose Caps, number one. <laughs> yeah. It's the, the most bait of playing Reiner. Don't trust on this yep. uh, extraction point. Yep. Um, if you can block to prevent damage, just block yep. and let to Rose Caps when you have, when you're opening pass and you have four cards on hand and nothing else to do. Uh, if your opponent has an arsenal and you have a full a four card hands with a popping and you have gloves maybe it's a good to roll scabs before playing the popping yeah honestly your source of go again could go away oh um, and i think that depends on the hero obviously but like pulping is not as good into bravo as it is into like five yeah right because Bravo exactly. probably has a D-React in his arsenal. Uh, Icelander might have a D-React in their arsenal. But so, like, when you use yeah. Pulping, yeah, sometimes it's better to roll scabs, which sounds stupid, but, like, it kind of is. Sometimes. If you're banking on the five-card hand, you know. <clears throat> yeah. And the power of the deck is those Blood Rush turns. So yeah. you can, you need to set up then pretty well having to the up. Maybe four-card hands if like if possible five because that way you're guaranteed some 
uh, hitting with two claws and an attack that you draw, yeah. or if you have the attack in the arsenal, uh, like five cards hands are pretty difficult, but uh, but for like it's doable, like saving two yellows to discard one. Yeah, it's the best option, I think. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> yeah, like try to build your own list. Uh, if you are not comfortable with this, make some tests. Uh, need to understand why those cards are there. Yeah. Uh, when you are playing Alpha and Page, like there's not much sense to play an Alpha and Page against some decks that are not blocking you. Yep. Because it will be three cards for nine. It's not pretty good. Nope. Uh, maybe it's better defending and hit six or just defend with full hand and wait for the blood rush uh yeah yeah uh, that's it I, I think rider you don't have much room to to try new things like yeah at least for now the best thing is like having the blood rush and starting a screw crack or a beast with him uh yeah. in general just flashing blood wisely know the opponent deck and play like play against that uh need to uh <laughs> yeah. uh, i mean like unfortunately reinar just doesn't have currently i mean this is going to change hopefully in january but we don't have the card support to let you really make other decisions you know like if you if you like go through the list yeah. and you look at these yellows these yellows are in here because they're the only yellows reinar has that have block on them and don't discard it's the only reason they're in the list we have no other options there's literally no other choice so it's until reinar gets some more support like i, I agree with you like you're kind of locked into like the same yellows pretty much the same blues pretty much the same reds except for like if you want to run pulping or not you know and then like your sideboard is like just to deal with the meta it's like i need i need d reacts so there goes six slots uh alpha rampage to anti-fatigue and then like whatever generic card that works in the meta better <laughs> you know no. so I, I can't wait for heavy hitters because i'm hoping we get some flavor you know i'm hoping we get something interesting because Playing the same 15 yellows for two years is getting a little old, you know? <laughs> yeah, hope for a different list. Like, Me too. Of course, Blood Rush Bellows. I don't think there will be a different card that will encourage any Reiner player to run Probably not. differently yeah. than Blood Rush, but maybe other threats. Yeah, some of those token cards look cool. So I don't know. I'm excited. Wager seems cool. Uh, Clash also yeah. seems pretty cool, or whatever that new mechanic is. When you block, that one seems really cool. Like that block card is really good. It, I wish you could yeah. play it from Arsenal, but then it'd be way too strong. <laughs> right? Yeah. It'd be way too strong if you could play it from Arsenal. But I don't know. I'm excited about the future. All right. Yeah, man. we will see. Like, probably the best cards are not spoiled yet. I hope so. So. I'll let you guys know if I get a good one. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if we get a good one or if, or if the future is going to be dark. <laughs> I mean, thanks for coming on the channel, man. Like, you know, insane performance from you. Insane, you know, going yeah. from two major tournaments back to back, performing that well. You're the you're the brute hero we needed. You're the you're the champion. And I, you know, I, I, I hope that you're going to be. Are you going to be a pro tour? No, the LA no, but okay. I'm aiming to go to the second uh, one, Amsterdam. I'll be at, I might be yeah. at Amsterdam too. So I hope to see you there. Hope to see your name yeah. continuing to be on these lists, and I can't wait to see what heavy hitters <laughs> brings us. You know, I want to let's let's brew some new Reinar lists. That'll be cool. Uh, but thank you so much for coming on the channel, man. Uh, it's a pleasure yeah, as always. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, you're the best. Nice guy. Everybody loves. You. Everybody loves you. <laughs> you're the hero that we needed. All right, everybody. He's got to go to a birthday party, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> sign off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.